So how many records you have in this table? 10 records. 10 records. 10 records are available. Okay. So now see here. If you notice uh, data and name column. The second row related name column is having some difference when compared to other row name columns. What is the difference is? Space. The an additional space, an additional leading space is there. Before uh, your name, there is an additional leading space. That's why we are seeing all first letters of other uh, name column value starting on this position. But this particular uh, name value starting from a different position. Okay. So, if you have any issue with this with our data like this, then we can correct that using trim functions. Trim, T R I M. What's basic? What's the uh, basic meaning of trim, guys? Trim. We cut down something, right? When we say trim. So this value, K M, having an additional space in it. Okay, so while getting data, while reading data from the table, if you want to remove such spaces from our column data, only leading and trailing spaces is. Leading space nothing but this one, the space which begins at before the data. Trailing space nothing but the space which begins after the data. Leading and trailing spaces. And now, this space lying at which side to our data, left side or right side? <laughs> Left. Left, left, side. left side. Okay, if space is available at right. this side, then which side? Trailing, right side. Right side. It is trailing space. This is called trailing space. And this is called leading space. Okay. Which is nothing but left side space. And this is right side space. Okay. So we are having uh, SQL functions with the name R trim and left trim. R trim, left trim. What it will do, uh, removes leading places. This one removes trialing spaces. <laughs> so now let's see. Now try to get only name column data from water list table. <laughs> we are getting data this way with all the spaces as is. What I'll do, I'll add L trim of name. So to the L trim function, I am passing my name column. L trim function accepts a column as an input so that whichever values available in that column, those columns will be having their leading spaces eliminated. Now see the difference. Are you seeing any difference here guys? In the third row? See the only name column is having leading space in this row. And L trim column is having any space, any leading space guys? <laughs> any leading space no. available? No. no it, got removed. it got eliminated. I'll give Alias name. Awesome. trim name is not having any leading space available. Same is the case with the, uh, sorry, this one. I'll trim another and, another. and uh, there is no uh, difference that we can notice with our trim because because uh, in the data we cannot observe, uh, we cannot notice uh, clearly about leading a uh, trialing space okay so remember if there is any space at the end of your data then that can be eliminated using our trim guys okay now see if there is any data at the end of your uh, value then that will be eliminated with this artery column see here artery column uh, able to handle this one your leading space no no we only L trim column, L trim function able to handle your leading space. <coughs> Sorry guys. That's why in R trim uh, column, we are able to see the leading space retained as is. 
which is nothing but the left side the space to your data. Okay, remember that. Clear, everyone? Yes. <laughs> So we are having 10 records of data with us and we are having other name is like this data. Now see here guys, we are having a column with the name citizen type. Citizen type. Okay. Citizen type. See, if you want to uh, display all the content of your column data, there can be few requirements where uh, we have to display our data in uh, upper or lower casing. Upper or lower casing. So, in such cases, we will be having a need of converting our data. So, in such cases, we are having methods, functions available with the name lower pass column name. upper as column name this way and what is the difference this is a, your our actual column type column citizen type column and i'll give lower as upper and see here this is our actual column data which starts with uh, uh, like camel casing every first letter of each uh, word is in capital case which is called camel casing and see here your lower case uh, the sql function which is used to accept your column name to lower column name converting entire all the characters of your uh, citizen type column values to lower case and whereas upper uh, sql function converting each character of your uh, citizen type column value to upper case clear it's very straightforward thing Oh yeah. Converts column data into lower case. Upper case. And this is our data. We have we are having date column here. No? Okay. Mm. See, I guess we are having date related data types like this: date, date time, ring time, and timestamp. So, as we deal with numeric data, text data, and the date type of data. In date related uh, data type, we are having these many data types available with us. Okay. Now, if you look at this particular uh, created on date, this is having date information as well as as well as time information. Time information. Time also. Okay. Now, see while dealing with dates, if you want to format your date, let's suppose create select created on column from voter list table. So it is showing both date as well as time. So here, if you want to show only date part, you are not interested in the uh, timing part, then you have to convert or cast your uh, date value. So as of now, it, it is a uh, existing created on column is what data type base? It is date time. Date time. Date time. So you want to convert this date time into date one. So to do so, we are having two methods. One is convert, another one is cast. Okay, so first I will use cast, 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 here, what I will say, convert created on column data type as 
date. So this cached SQL function accept a column and the target data type. What is the existing data type? What is it? Date time. Date time. And we are asking in the cache function, convert the date on the data type as date. And see the difference. And see the difference. What is happening with the cache function? Returns only the date, date format. Hmm. Returns only the date format. Only the date. Okay. No. By using same, let's suppose give time. Right text. Only time. No. No, yes. First column is as is data type column. The first column is as is uh, as is date time column, and second column is cached to date, and third column is cached to only type. Clear? Yeah. Also. Yeah. So. I'm not going to do this way. Huh? Yeah. This cast function is only fetched for purpose, right? Only for? Um, fetching purpose. Only for reading purpose. It will not update our data. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Whichever okay. functions we use as part of select statement are only read only. They will not update data in our table. Yeah. Yes. They meant for only read only purpose. Okay. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Now, now, try to convert this one to var currency. What happens? Descriptive data. What happens? Yes. Instead of y y y y m m d d format, what are we getting? A descriptive date information. A descriptive date information. What we are getting? A descriptive date information. Like a descriptive date information like Jan 31st, 2023 and readable time format. If I try to convert my date time data type into a character, varchar data type. Okay. So how it works is cache function. Cache function source data column as target data type it works this way anyways this clear yes sir now try to try to achieve the same using convert so convert is a bit different first we have to mention target data type and then we have to mention column so in such case convert date convert to date which column you want to convert created on yeah. it's the same way Same way, Parka. And try to execute and see. The meaning is, we are able to achieve same result. Converts, then column, data into, even data type. What's the difference between convert and cast? Both uses column name as well as target data type. But the way we use is different. Cast uses cast 
column as target data type and where does convert convert to this target data type and which column you want to convert this column okay remember the reference okay but purpose is same but purpose is same One second. Save this file. Let me open the slides. Yeah, so here I have shown you, right? See here, guys. Um, from your data birth column, from your data birth column, we are having total uh, four, eight, nine columns, and the data birth column is having which format data, guys? Which format of which format data we have? Date. So your date format and uh, format is like. This yy mmdd yy yy mmdd this is a date format data the debugging column so from this you want to it's only year part only year part only month part only day part then we are having year function to which you have to pass column month function to which we have to pass year uh, sorry date column and day function to which we have to pass our date column oh, see what happened guys year SQL function extracting only year information from the given date of birth date column and month function extracting only month information from your given date column and day function extracting only day part of your date column clear is yes clear? okay so now here yeah. Year of date column, month of date column, day of date column. What it will do? Extract year from the date column. This one extract, extract. Day from date column. Okay. Okay. This is a So what I'll do, I'll update my name column into 
a different thing is uh, to have information. What is the thing? For this example, we use other data table guys. See here, how many columns are there? In other data column, in other data table? Three, three columns. Three columns, okay. And uh, how many rows are there? 18 rows. 18 rows are there, okay. Now, see, select a column value and paste it here. And what's the pattern we are noticing here? Every name value, every name value having a starting with some salutation like Mr. or Junior, something like this. So the first three character, uh, the first three characters of every name value are not, or not the part of your name, right? True or not, guys? True, sir. The first three characters of name value, name column values are not part of your name. Okay, only after three characters, you are able to see actual name beginning. Clear? So in such cases, if I want to separate this, this, this and this, we are allowed to achieve that using left function. So this, these three characters, I want to skip from the left side of my data. From the left side of my value. Clear, guys? Yes, sir. So now, if you want to bring out that, we are having left function. For now, we will select only name from other data. This is our data. So here, I will add a left function saying in the name column, from the left side, only three characters. And see what it will give. What game guys? From left side, three characters. What are three characters from the left side? First character, second character, third character. Those are extracted or not? In this column. Some some having leading spaces. Eh? Ah, some having leading spaces. So uh, to achieve that properly, see here. For the second case is having leading space space mr kum so from the left side initially space is taken after that okay two spaces and on the last character is see i'll take this understand we are having one two leading spaces so for one from the left side one two three only three characters which is nothing but till this m till m is getting extracted and shown in the output in such cases, what we have to do? How can we achieve this? Let's trim left the function. You first trim your data. After that, apply this. To the left function, I am passing left side trimmed name column. Getting a point? Yes. Yes, sir. Left side trim data. See here, we can use a function, a scale function in another scale function. Now here, I am first trimming my data and after that I am applying left. Here guys, this is called trimmed name value. On top of that, apply left comma 3. Now see the difference. Now see the difference. Normal left function giving you data this pattern without uh, considering, I mean, uh, without handling uh, leading spaces. But whereas your left trimmed function, your left function used L trim inside it, handling leading spaces cleanly and giving you the correct extract from your uh, name column. Clear, guys? Hope everyone is clear, like why only M came here? Because in our data, we are having we are having data in this format where it is containing leading spaces this way and when you count left from the left side first three characters are space one space two and third character that's why we are seeing two spaces m 
when you try to apply left name comma three. So to arrive, to avoid that, what I did first, I have trimmed my car name column, and after that, I have applied left scale function, which given me correct value. Okay. First, it will trim the all the leading spaces from the name column, and after that, your uh, name column data will become this way. And from left side, one, two, three, MR dot this one. Clear? Clear. This is huh? right side. Oh. Oh, in order to fetch, in order to fetch entire name from the right side. By giving a fixed number of characters, is it possible for without data, guys? If I give five, so if I give right of name comma five, then in my first value, in Mr. Suman, so what I'll get, I'm having an e. It's like it seems like a trailing space available. See, when I try to copy the value this way. I'm seeing a trialing space is available. So now tell me from the right side, in considering trialing space, what is the, what are the name, last five characters? One, two, three, four, five. It's clear. So if I apply this, I'm not getting my full name. I'll get this one. Okay. No. So. Here also I'll try to apply. Which team we have to, I have to apply here right? when I use right function? R team. R team. R team I have to apply. My name call. And see. From the right side, without applying R trim, I'm seeing only U E M A N. After applying uh, right trim, I'm getting S U M A N correctly. And see here, guys, are we seeing full uh, names extracted correctly from right side? No. See here. <laughs> Senior Gafur. So here, expected one is Gafur, but we are getting only A, F, O, R. Which is incorrect, right? Which is incorrect. No. Our question is extract only the name part from name column. This is our question. So what information we have? Okay, from the left side we can extract three characters. From the right side we can extract the number of given characters from a column value. Only till this we have knowledge and how to extract only name part from a given value. We are not unaware completely. So whenever we have such situations, first we have to understand the pattern of your understand pattern of a data. What is pattern guys? Our data having a pattern. Our data is having a pattern. Like our name and this initial uh, salation are getting separated with which character? If you notice any of the column, 
after that we are having our name length can be different not all uh, names having same length see here this vikram name containing six characters length sharan name containing six character length sam name containing how many characters length the length of this name three characters three characters three characters but the pattern is the pattern is name in the beginning value are getting separated with which character a uh, dot dot okay so first we have to understand the pattern so what is the pattern here what is the pattern name starting after dot and what is second observation and all names are not having same length of data okay remember that same length of data so now what we have to do we have to extract the content of from a value which is starting after this dot until end of your value can be any number of characters clear guys so our result is extract value from column after dot after dot we are not having fixed number of characters here we cannot say after dot fetch only six characters then it will give six characters but for this it will give three characters name and three characters assertion space getting a point please following me Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. See, if my name is like this, Mr. Sudhir, so here it is having seven characters. Sudhir. I say, after that, use six characters. After that, use six characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only this part will be extracted from the name column, which is incorrect again. Which is incorrect again. Okay. Extract value from the column after that till end of the. Value or content. Getting a point? Is getting a point? Yes, sir. Okay. So these are the requirements. Question is extract only name part from name column. Understand the pattern. Pattern is this one. Name starting after dot, and all names are not in same name. So extract value from column after dot till end of the value. So we can achieve this using substring. Select name, other data. This is our data. So now what I'll use, I'll apply help trim on my column. After applying help trim, let's see if they're having a trim. No, there is no trim. No trim both sides. First, I have to apply help trim on my data. After applying help trim, I'll apply hard trim on top of. And you can use vice versa. Inside you can use R trim, and outside you can use L trim. So what happens, guys, with this? Both leading and trailing spaces will be eliminated from your name column data. Clear? Clear, guys? Yes. So, see here. See here. Earlier, Mr. Suman was having uh, the name Mr. Suman containing trailing space. In the actual name column. Now choose this L trim by R trim value. Do you have any tiling space? No. This is having tiling space. This is not having any tiling space. And this one having leading space in the name column value. But L trim R trim removed, eliminated that leading space. Okay. After achieving this, after achieving this, from this value, from this value, I have to pull out. I have to pull out data after mm -hmm. dot after dot. Now, in this data, in this pattern, do we know the length or position of our character, guys? 
we know position of uh, the dot is this a fixed yes it's third third position it is third position when we count one two three but in a scale it starts from zero mm. We are having a function called add index to understand the position of any character. I to understand that position, right? Saying zero. Okay, okay. I think it is reverse, sir. Hmm. See, okay. Car index is a function which verify the position of given character in the given column. So, in this column, Mr. Suman, what is the position of dot? It is say it is giving position of dot is three. Then it starts from. I think first letter is S, second letter is th uh, R, and third letter is dot. Here is the car index. Search for a character in the column value on this position. So here, as per our robot example, car index of dot. As dot is a character text value, I'm putting it in single quotes. Dot in in this value will give you which portion guess D. Uh, this example. Clear guess. Is clear. Yes, sir. See here in this entire Artrim uh, Ltrim name value, this dot is having its position at which place? Third position. So after third position, until end of the value, we have to extract complete thing from our column. So now to achieve that thing. Okay. This car index. So there are two ways to achieve this. One is substring method. Substring. Substring. In which particular column you want to achieve, uh, get the substring artrim ltrim value? Starting from which position? Substring. Sub in the sense, part of the main string. Your my main string is this one. In this main string, get me the data from this position. This this is what I'm asking. So what is my position guess? What is position of dot as of now? Three. 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 I'll say only three and close that uh, function. Okay. And what is third thing I told you guys? Till end of the till end of the value. Now. In this one, you starting from third position. Let's suppose I'll give five characters and try to understand something how it works. So starting from third character, five characters. So it is including dot also. Including dot. One, two, three, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Five characters. It is fetching. And now what I have to do, instead of 3, I will say 4. Starting from 4th position, 4th position, this name, and 5 characters. Starting from 4th position, 5 characters, and see. Now dot is not coming. <laughs> <coughs> dot is not coming. After dot, my data starting from 4th character is coming. but 
not all columns getting full data. See, after that, Samuel is there, but we are getting L skipped here because after that, five characters, only five characters are getting fetched in the substring method, in the substring function. But ideally, after that, we have to get entire data. Entire data. Getting my point, guys? So, in such case, what we have to do? Substring function having its syntax this way. Substring, alum value, add position, Number of characters. Number of characters. So here, your, your column value is this this thing. Then, if I say start position as four, a number of characters three. Now tell me, guys. If I say start position as four, number of characters as three. What happens? Yeah, it is. So first, second, third, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are indexes. First character is S, second character is R, third character is dot, fourth character is C, H, seven character is R, eight character is A, nine character is N. So starting from fourth character, which is nothing but C, this part. How many characters I'm asking? Position is fourth character. And how many characters I'm asking, guys? Three nothing but from this position, starting from CHA. CHA. Only CHA will be returned. So this way it works. Here. Yeah. What does it mean? Acting from fourth position. Three characters will be extracted. That's the meaning. Now, as per our definition, starting from fourth position, fourth position nothing but this three characters one, two, three. CHA will be fetched this way. Okay. And now we learn one more thing. We are also having a method with the name length. So if I say length of suman will give us give us five five number of characters in my data one two three four five okay. now if I use the same here my trimmed data if I apply length length of my trimmed data I'm trying to understand. It is giving entire length, including all characters after trimming. This is 10 characters, this is 10 characters, 10, 9, 6, 8, this way. Okay. Now, guys, now it is exercise for you people. I want to get, after that, I want to get entire name. You know how substring works. And you know how length works. So you know how to get index of a character. You know how to know the length of a string. And you know how to fetch a substring. By using length substring and char index, get me the data dynamically. Guys, exercise by using length char index and substring functions extract name completely dot clear guys is clear yes sir okay done yeah. That's all, guys. I'll be expecting answers from you people. I'll upload this right away. Okay. 
Thank you, guys. See you in the next session. Huh? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See you, Kavya. So we need uh, data for the. Um, uh, if I give you this uh, screen.